In downtown Shanghai stands a wide building named the Marble Hall, with the look of the Louvre in Paris. It has a neoclassical style that's perfectly proportioned and exquisitely decorated. It is now the China Welfare Institute Children's Palace. In 1924, when Marble Hall was completed, the press called it the most beautiful stately home in Shanghai. Hello, I'm Michelle Chiao. Please explore a unique Shanghai with me. In 1924, the new residence of Jewish tycoon Ali Kadori was completed. The press said Shanghai will feel particularly proud of it. The Marble Hall has finished a restoration to revive its glory. Let's check it out. Born in Baghdad, Sir Ali Kidori, owner of Marble Hall, arrived in Shanghai from Bombay in 1880. He had worked for David Sassoon and Sons Company, but left to start his own business with $500 and became a successful merchant. The original site was used to construct a Jewish country club, but later the building was gutted by fire. Kidori invited Mr. Graham Brown to redesign the building and took it for his own residence. Kidori named it Marble Hall, covering an area of 15,000 square meters and 3,300 square meters indoors, with more than 20 rooms. The mansion was the most splendid residence among Shanghai's modern architecture. It was built on a lavish scale. Italian marble was everywhere, with 150 tons of it all together. Marbles are lavishly used in this house, but the work has been done with wonderful good taste. Sculptor Finocchiano created a pleasing effect. The interior is designed in a shade of happy green, beige, and gold. The extremely magnificent ballroom was a social center for the city's upper-class gatherings. At a height of 20 meters, the stunning main hall had an exquisite wide ceiling in a curved shape with various patterns. The ballroom had a central stage, and the eastern and western walls were symmetrical. The marble-framed stage was large enough for concerts and drama performances. Lit by 3,600 different colored electric light bulbs, with one flick, the ballroom could be turned from pink to blue to red. According to the recalling of Sir Kadori's son Lawrence, his father took the family to Europe for three years, leaving the construction to architect Graham Brown. Who was stepson of a famous Hollywood actress? The film star connection had given the architect very grand, fancy ideas. The Kidoris received the architect's telegrams demanding to raise the ballroom roof by 15 feet, but there was no ballroom in the blueprint, only a reception room. Sir Ali Kidori passed away on August 8, 1944. But the legend of the family lives on. The two brothers continued the family business, which suffered great losses during the wars, and became wealthier after their move back to Hong Kong. They invested in the Daya Bay nuclear power plant in Shenzhen after China reformed and opened to the outside world. The family is today headed by the third generation, Sir Michael Kidori. Who owned businesses such as China Latin Power and Peninsula Hotels? The Kidori family conducted many charity activities in Shanghai and Hong Kong as they wished to return their fortune to society. Sir Ali Kidori and his wife Laura were both buried in Shanghai in the mausoleum of Song Qingling. The inscription on the gravestone reads, "The true grave of the dead is in the heart of the living." The Kidori's former home became the China Welfare Institute Children's Palace in 1953, under the advice of Madame Song, founder of the institute. 
Marble Hall became the most precious gift for the children. <laughs>